today we're looking at the 20 bead Reckon Rec, a fantastic resource for supporting so many mathematical concepts in a hands-on visual representation. If you're looking for a simple yet powerful way to help children develop number sense, addition and subtraction skills, this tool is perfect. I'll show you three engaging ways you can use the Reckon Rec in your classroom to help children master math. So what is a Reckon Rec? The Reckon Rec is essentially a counting frame with two rows of 10 beads split into five red and five white beads. The colour contrast helps children to visualise numbers, spot patterns and develop a sense of grouping which is critical for mental maths. There are so many concepts you can use the Reckon Rec to support understanding but I'm going to share with you just three of my favourite from across early years, year one and year two. First up is how we can use the Reckon Rec within early years to begin to develop number sense and early counting skills. Using the Reckon Rec for the first time is all about allowing children to explore it and asking questions such as what do you notice about the red beads? What do you notice about the white beads? And I'd do this with a demonstration one first to explore together and begin to show them how to use it in the most efficient way as this helps them further along the line. Then allow children to explore with their own. Then we're going to move into an activity of building numbers and beginning to subitize within five and ten. So we're just going to get children to explore things like can you show me three? So they need to move across their one, two, three. Once they've got used to doing this, you can play games um, such as who can show me the fastest and then we're going to move into our subitizing once they've got used to those numbers. So who can show me four and they should be able to quickly show four on the rack and rack. What we can also do is bring in lots of different representations to help with subitizing. So you may flash up different dice patterns, you could have objects or you could even have pictures. So it would be flashing it up, who can show me five and who can show it in the quickest. And this is gonna help them connect that visual representation to the numeral. Now let's take a look at how we can use the Rec and Rec to support concepts in year one. It is the perfect tool for supporting children to look at number bonds to 10, then to 20. Children see the numbers physically, which supports their understanding of the part-part-whole relationship. I would use this alongside the part-part-whole representation too, as well to really model that language. So in year one, children are going to have now a good understanding of subitizing to five, and they know that we've got our five and five, which makes 10. So now we're going to do lots of exploration with our number bonds to make 10. So we can pose questions such as, if I had two, how many more am I going to get to 10? So we know we've got our whole of 10, we've got our part and children can physically use the Reckon Rec so they can move across their two and then find out how many more it is to make their 10. So they can see they've got five, six, seven, eight. So our missing part, is eight. We need to make sure we're also really overemphasizing that language of our part, part, whole, and also bringing in other representations such as using the chem frame alongside and also math link cubes, and that's going to really concrete that understanding. Finally, a great way for the using the Rec and Rec with year two children is missing number problems. This can be a tricky concept for children to grasp as it is posing calculations in a different way to what they are maybe used to and in my experience can really trick them up if they don't fully experience how to find the missing part with concrete resources first. If we take the missing number problem of 8 equals mm, add 3 we're going to demonstrate to them first how they can do this so then they can explore others on their own. So first we want them to get that whole number, our eight. So we've got five, six, seven, eight. So that is our whole. We know we are ending with eight. Now to explore what the missing part could be, we know that we have got our three. So we're going to bring that 
across. Now we can compare those top rows and look for that missing part. So we can see that if we've got our part of our three, we can now explore that our missing part is one, two, three, four, five, and add that into our number sentence. Now, if we push those back together, we can check that our three add five equals eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we have it, three ways to use the Rec and Rec within your classroom. I hope you found these useful and thanks for watching.